If you'd like to know how I grew my photography business and what strategies I implement into my marketing, both social media and otherwise, then this video is for you because I'm going to break down for you exactly how I do this, how I plan my content, make decisions, and what I'm doing to market myself to grow my business from here on out. And so there's a guide that goes along with what I'm gonna be sharing with you in today's video. So go ahead, grab that in the description section. It's gonna walk you through not only everything that I talk about here today, but actually give you even more things that you can do and quick ways to get more eyes on your business and just tactics that I think we just won't have time to cover in today's video. So go ahead and grab that guide and we're gonna dive right in. So I'm gonna dive right into the marketing plan section of the guide. So you'll see that there's a whole section on tactics that you can get in front of people quickly, what I did online and in person, and even some brand foundations. So be sure to spend some time on that in your own business. But today, I wanna to talk about actually choosing the platforms that you're gonna be present on and how to make those choices. So your first action step is gonna to be to pick a social media platform. And I think this is a big mistake for a lot of photographers because there are so many platforms that you can be present on. My advice to you is to pick one that's gonna be your main platform and give it 80% of your attention when it comes to your social media marketing attention. This shouldn't be the full social media plan that you have for your business or the full marketing plan even, but it should be the majority of it in that one platform. Now, personally, I think for most of us, that's gonna be Instagram because it's such a visual platform but there are going to be some people that find Facebook is a really good alternative and there's even some other ones as well. So I do think Instagram is gonna be the large one for the most of us. And so choosing that platform, knowing that that's gonna be your focus and then moving forward with that in mind is absolutely key. So the question of the day is, what is your number one social media platform? Where are you gonna spend 80% of your time when it comes to social media. I'm really curious to hear if it's the same as me or if it's something different. So leave that in the comment section below. All right, so action step number two is decide on the medium of your content. And I think this is a really important one to think about before you dive into just posting and you know throwing your work up everywhere and wondering why you're not getting engagement, why you're not attracting ideal clients and stuff like that. And I think it's important to ask what your ideal client likes to consume in terms of content. Do they like long form blog posts? Do they like more video bite-sized content or maybe live content? You know, if you're, we're thinking about Instagram as the example here, would stories be where your ideal client is hanging out or do they enjoy the guides feature of Instagram? This is the stuff that you need to be asking yourself and even asking your ideal clients how they're using the platform that you've chosen to market your business on. The other thing that you need to ask yourself is what kind of content you enjoy making. Because if you're going to be consistent and we absolutely need you to be consistent to see success and to even have some data points to actually look at, which we're gonna talk about next, you have to be consistent. You have to be showing up with some form of regularity. And there are apps to make this easier. There are planning guides to make this easier, but ultimately it has to be a format that you somewhat enjoy. So if you're somebody that just absolutely hates writing and writing is just kind of a drag for you, you're going to want to think about video because video right now is getting such a big push on social media that you could really lean into that strength and say, you know what, I would rather just show up and talk or I'd rather show people what I do instead of talking about it all day long in the form of text, right? So think about how you like to create content and what content you kind of lean towards in terms of your strengths for communication and keep that in mind with your plan. So when you're looking at your guide here, and that's what I'm going through on my laptop right now, you'll see that you're gonna be pairing these two things together, your ideal platform and your ideal content form, like the medium is the word that I use inside the guide. So your third action step is you're gonna get to know your ideal client. Now I'm talking, turn up your online stalking skills to a level 10. I want you to be asking more questions, stalking more comments, lurking around, trying to figure out and glean from what is actually just publicly out in public. So it doesn't really count as stalking, but this is your ability to garner and say, okay, what are we going to gather? What are we going to be able to pick up from our ideal clients? Are they enjoying the platforms that you've chosen to be on? So you need to know whether or not they're actually there. 
Are they in the hashtags? What are they doing on these platforms? Do they enjoy being in stories versus the feed? That kind of thing. And so understanding your ideal client and what they want and how you can give it to them is absolutely key. Because when you're thinking about making your content, you need to know what problem you're solving. You need to know what answers you have to their questions, because that's exactly what marketing is. It's positioning yourself as the automatic answer as the easy yes to whatever it is that the, your ideal client is searching for, right? And so that's obviously photography, but more than that, it's an ease of experience, right? What do they want those pictures for? So if we dive a step deeper and we're actually thinking about why somebody would want to have their pictures taken, you're getting a little closer to peeling back that onion and figuring out exactly what problem you're really solving. So if you haven't ever actually thought about this, you're gonna really enjoy this guide because it really does help you to look at what you do and the photography that you offer in a different way so that you'll be able to talk about it in a new way rather than just saying, I take pictures. <laughs> so now that you have all these pieces, you're going to move into step four, which is where you actually map out the plan of what you're going to post and where you're going to post it. Now, I personally like to just print out a monthly calendar so that I can look at this at a glance. And I like to think about one social platform at a time. So I would print a calendar for my blog and that would be its own content piece. And then I like to print out a calendar for Instagram, for example, and then look at that at a glance and decide how often I'm going to show up and what kind of things I'm going to share. Now, lastly, this one is super important and it's one that I think is a little bit skipped or intermittently done. And that is to actually measure your marketing and check in and see where you're at, what worked and what didn't work. Now, I think that a lot of times when we're not booking and we're a little bit frustrated that we don't seem to be getting the right types of inquiries or any inquiries at all, it's easy to then look at our stats and not really know what we're looking at. And it's much, much easier if you're gonna go ahead and do consistent content on whatever platform you've chosen give that a good six, eight, 12 weeks, and then look at the data because you have something to base it off of. If you've been a little all over the place in your posting, you can look at the data, but it is going to be harder to read in terms of what it's actually telling you. So I always like to go to the insights on social media on that Facebook. There's a insights tab there. There's insights on Instagram. You of course can use Google analytics or the Google search console is another great one for looking at the insights for your website or your blog content. But I think it's really important to look at these things on a regular basis so that you know what content is resonating with your audience, what content got the most reach or the most comments or the most shares. Now, you're going to have to take this and distill it down into something that is helpful for you. And that is its own animal of trying to do data analysis. But it is absolutely crucial that you have these regular check-ins so that you can see what you should be looking at and what's important in your business and making sure that those check-ins actually inform how you're creating the future content for your business. So if you wanna read a little bit more about this, the guide goes into more detail about this as well. All right, so there you have it, a very distilled down version of how to create a full social media marketing plan for your photography business. Go ahead and grab the guide and you'll see even more details about how you can fill this out and apply this to your business today. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.